This screencast is about using the MATLAB Gamma Models folder. This folder contains M files with activity coefficient model calculations. Well, why would I want to write M files for activity coefficient calculations? I want to use these over and over again to do bubble and do and flash calculations, and I want to have the code in one single place on my computer. This is because if I start to write activity coefficient calculations into every single file, I can make mistakes. And if I have fixed this once, why don't I write it in an M file, and then I can reference it from any file that I use. Also, I don't want to scatter copies of these all over the computer, because if I do ever make a modification, then I would have to go and modify every occurrence of the M file. Let me talk about how the files work. I'm going to navigate to my occurrence of the Chemi Thermo software. I'm going to go down into the MATLAB folder and I'm going to look for the folder that says Gamma Models. And you can see that uh, I've got activity coefficient models here and in Chapter 11 we discuss the Margulis 1 parameter and the Margulis 2 parameter models. The other models are discussed in Chapters 12 and 13. Well, let's look at the Margulis 1 parameter model. Okay, you can see that this requires an input of the parameter A12 and composition X1 and X2, and it will return gamma 1 and gamma 2. You can see in the comments that it calculates gamma um, using the 1 parameter Margulis, and it can be used with a scalar or vector X values. You can see in lines 4 and 5 the calculations for the activity coefficients, and notice I use dot operators, which allows me to have the x's be vectors. Okay, let's discuss how the code works. I'm going to use textbook examples and rework them. This is a really good way that I suggest to see that you understand how the code works. Rework a textbook example. In example 11.1, .1, we found an A12 of 1.42. Then in example 11.2, we used that value at a composition of 0.1168 and found a gamma 1 of 3.03 .03 and a gamma 2 of 1.02. Well, let's reproduce that result. Okay, so now I'm back into the um, gamma models folder and I'm going to input these values into the relationship, call this function, and there are the values. It works. Now let me run this using a vector. Here I've set up x to run from 0 to 1, and there are the values. I can create x2. And now I have a vector. All right, let me pass this to the program. And I'm going to pass the vector. And then I get a series of gammas back, one for each composition. I can make a little table. Now this is nice, but I don't want to clutter up the gamma models folder with a bunch of code that does other things. So I want to be able to call those these routines from a different folder. The way I do that is to use an add path command. I can then reference my files from any folder on my computer if I put the add path command in an M file. To tell MATLAB how to find the gamma models folder, I use dot dot to move up one folder, and I use folder names with slashes to move down. Well, let's see how that works. All right, so here I am in gamma models, uh, I'm sorry, Kimi Thermo MATLAB gamma models. I'm going to move, move back up to my documents, and I'm going to run a piece of code from a parallel folder to Kimi Thermo. So I've created a folder here called Chemi Code, and I've got a little demo that I've created. 
Okay. Now, if you remember where I am in this folder, it is parallel to the chemithermo folder. So, in order to get to the gamma models folder, I need to go up one folder, and then I need to go down into chemithermo, and then into MATLAB, and then into gamma models. This add path command will tell MATLAB to look for functions in this pathway. And so I can call any function that I have created anywhere on my computer by knowing the pathway to that piece of code. And so here I've got this value. Let me change this again to um, 1.42. And then let me repeat the calculation that I just performed a moment ago. And let me create the output table and we'll see if it looks the same. All right. And I press F5 to run. And there we go. I'm running this from a completely different folder from where I have the gamma models code. This ends the lesson.